God, my! I just farted. I thought it was going to be silent. I mean, I. modifications, I'm here in my hideaway hideout reviewing horror movies. Today's movie that I am reviewing is American Mary, written and directed by the Soska sisters, otherwise known as the Twisted Twins. Uh, this movie stars Kathleen Isabel as a uh, trainee surgeon in med school that is trying to keep up with her payments uh, for the medical school and resorts to other jobs such as lap dancing and other kind of things like escorting and stuff, yeah? Not prostitution, escorting, attending events. Until one day she goes to one and gets raped by a particular person. She then takes matters into her own hands by torturing this man, cutting off his arms, his legs, his genitals and sewing his mouth shut and hanging him on meat hooks. Um, anyway, she then starts to start a black market uh, business uh, with illegal body modifications, as she is not qualified to be a surgeon. There are some parts in it, like like these two plastic people that are crazy, and they want to look like a Barbie doll, saying, I don't think it is fair, God choosing what we got to look like. So, uh, it is a bit extreme with the body modifications, uh, but some people just end up going because they, well, they won't have a nipple removed or an implant, they just go to her and she does it. She starts to make profit out of it and finds it a lot more better than attending medical school. Also, the movie is quite gory in most parts, as it is a very gory movie. It is also my kind of horror movie that I enjoy. So, ah, uh, yeah, Kathleen Isabel, one of my favorite scream, scream queens. Ah, uh, but yeah, it is quite empowering for women, I might say, in my opinion alone. Ah, uh, must be one of my minions, uh, you know, um, flatulence and stuff, yeah, getting himself, uh, finish prepped for surgery because well I have a client who well a patient who is going under and I just need to wait for him to pass out so I can begin uh, anyway back on to the movie um, I would say that it is quite a good one if you're not really into guts and gore and torture porn uh, I would not recommend this one for you but I will recommend it to anyone that likes sick torture on go. So yeah, it is a good movie. Uh, Kathleen Isabel is as wonderful as always in her acting films. Um, so yeah, the Soska sisters, they're both crazy twins and I think they did a good job with this movie. The cinematography was, you know, spot on I would say. Some bits uh, were boring, some bits were not. But all in all, I found it quite watchable. Um, so yeah, ah, <laughs> uh, good. I, but yeah, she. It is good movie. It is not piss or shit or anything like that. Yeah, I did like it. I lo I did like it. I won't say I loved it, but I did like the movie quite a lot. I like the story and stuff and everything. I just wish the ending wasn't as disappointing. But, you know, the Sasuke sisters obviously wanted this movie to just be a standalone horror movie, you know? And obviously they are not interested in doing any sequels because, well, I won't get the ending away too much, but uh, it is just, uh, how can I put it? They don't leave it open for any possible sequels in the future. And if they do, I, I suspect they might do, 
something that is less interesting than direct to DVD. Something that is not enjoyable. But yeah, a very canary. What did I like about this? I like quite a lot of it. I liked some of the torture maneuvers, quite creative in some. I like the uh well, I like uh, a lot of the gore and the new torture and stuff as I am a crazy man myself. What did I not like? Uh, I did not like some of the boring parts. I did not like some of the weird plastic women that wanted to be Barbie dolls. I found that a bit strange. Why would someone want to have their well, nipples, I can understand if you have no purpose for them, you can have them taken off. Uh, I don't, I have my nipples, but I've just got them on I haven't got around to having them removed or anything. I might, if I do, I might miss them. Uh, but who wants to have the ass and the, and the fanny sword up to look like a plastic doll? I mean, she does it on the guy she's punishing for raping her, but that's his own fault. But yeah. I will recommend American Mary if you're into the hardcore torture porn. So, I will give American Mary, let us see, uh, you know what, I, I think, I think I will give it a good, um, I'm going to give this one a four scalpels out of five needles. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You know, singes. That's it. I'm going to give it four scalpels out of five syringes. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please like and share. Uh, have you seen American Mary? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, uh, on behalf of my friend Random Ross, who is taking a break this channel and letting me run it for the month, um, there are links down below to his Facebook page and his Twitter. Uh, be sure to follow him on th both those sites to stay updated on what he gets up to outside of YouTube and what he is, well, yeah, like I said, because I am on here for this month. So yeah, um, I think that might be it. And also on his behalf, subscribe to his channel. And also, if you want to see more of me, yeah, in the next upcoming days, we're only until the second day, so... I will be back tomorrow with another horror movie review as part of Halloween in January. Until then, I bid you all a vida say goodbye. Oh, man, I just farted. I thought it was going to be silent. I mean, I guess it was, but, oh, you see with me being a surgeon, I'm used to quite a lot of smells, not my own farts. Oh, goodness me. Ugh. Good thing I'm leaving this room now to do surgery. Anyway, goodbye, yeah?